We are in Microsoft Word 2016 and let's do a tutorial on Word Art. First let's go to Insert at the top and we're going to choose Word Art and we'll choose any one of these options here that you see. And let's go ahead with this option and we're going to replace the text with Hello World. Alright, so Hello World is there. Now let's see how we can manipulate this to get it to look the way we want and also add in other options. So you can see at the top when we click the insert, we also created a new tab called Format and it says Drawing Tools at the top. So this tab was not there before, but it is now and it allows us to use all the different word art options. Over on the left hand side you can see various different shapes. Now these shapes don't affect what we just did here, but it does allow us to add a shape wherever it is that we want. And we can also change the inside of that called the fill to be a different color if we want. We can also go and we can change the angle that it is and we can let go. And we can go back to our original Hello World and we can make changes there as well. Now in the Hello World option, we have options at the top that says Edit Shape. So if we click on the Change Shape, we've got a lot of different shapes that we can turn this text box into. So let's go ahead and choose the Diamond Shape. And you can see that it is looking a little different, but it doesn't really look like a diamond. So what it is is you're looking white uh, text or white uh, the white shape on top of the white uh, background so that's why we can't see it so we have to go up to the shape fill and choose a color and you can see now the diamond pattern emerging and there it is so let's go ahead and expand that so hello world shows up and we can simply move it around and change the shape and the size by doing a few things so if we move our cursor to any one of these lines here and it turns into this cross we can move the shape anywhere we want if we go to the corners, we can change the size of the shape. And if we go to the top, we can change the angle. So you have lots of different options there. And if you want to just make it skinnier, you can go into this section. Or longer, go this way. Alright, so let's take a look at the other options that we have here. We have draw a text box, which just allows us to create a whole new box if we want. But uh, we don't really need to do that. I just wanted to show you that that was there. Let's go back to our original Hello World. And we see these different theme styles. Theme styles and presets. Some of these are grayed out because they won't work with this particular pattern. But the ones that are not, you can see if you scroll through how it changes the colors of the background and the text as we go through it. So let's go ahead and change to the green. And from here, if we want to make the, the uh, text something different, we just right click on it and we choose a different color. And we can do the same for world as well. There we go. So these presets are really nice. They can automatically pick various different colors that work well together if you choose to use those, if you don't want to do this custom. All right, so we have the shape fill I showed you earlier. You can change the fill as you like. And then we have the shape outline. So the shape outline will draw a little outline. As you can see, the different colors I'm scrolling through, the outline changes around our diamond pattern. So go ahead and choose that. And then we have shape effects. So we have all different types of effects that we can do. So uh, you can kind of just scroll through these different ones. You can see some really cool three-dimensional looking options. So let's go ahead and choose this one. And it looks sort of like a shadow effect on the top. So these effects are really neat and something you can take a look at and see uh, which way you want to go. Now our format tab disappears whenever we click away. It takes us back to the home tab. So if you want to get it back, just go ahead and click on it and the format tab reappears. We've got text directions. We've got horizontal. You can rotate. And you can see all the different uh, options there. 
go ahead and stretch that back out again so all the text shows up. And now we're back to normal. We can align the text to the top, the middle, or the bottom. It doesn't show a lot of difference here, but if you have uh, different kinds of shapes, then you'll see a much greater difference by aligning the text a different way. You can also go to the position. And again, this doesn't really show us uh, much difference just because it's right in the center of a small uh, item. Let's go ahead and undo that so we get it back. But uh, that is an option as well. If we have a lot of text, we can cause it to automatically wrap the text. So let's just go ahead and put some periods in there like that. And let's go ahead and get rid of our arrow from earlier and stretch this out a bit so we can see our additional text that we just typed. All right, we're back in our format once again. And you can change the various different types of text, text wrapping. And you'll just sort of have to play with this to see how it affects your particular shape. You also have the option for additional layout options, and you can kind of see a little example of what each of these various different changes makes to the layout of the pictures or whatever it is that you're trying to make changes to. You can bring something forward or send it backwards, depending on if you want text to appear in front of or behind your shape. So that's kind of a cool thing to put the uh, text behind or in front. It's up to you. Let's go ahead and shrink this down just a little bit. Now we have the option to align the text, and you can align it left. You can do right. Basically, it just moves the uh, picture that we inserted around a little bit. So you can play with that unless you want to just go ahead and drag it to exactly where you want it to go. Rotate is kind of a fun thing to do. You can rotate all different directions, flip vertical, flip horizontal. And you have more options, rotation options as well. You can do things to a specific pixel if you want. You can have it go also a different scale, a different degree, however it is you want to do it. So if, let's just go ahead and change this to 15. And you can see it doesn't really make any difference there. But if you actually rotate it by using the rotate option at the top, then you can get it to go exactly the way you want. You can also go back and change the word art style for your text if you'd like. And you can always undo if you don't like the way it looks. So there's lots of options here in word art. You can even create a link that can take a text box and make it into a link to a website if you'd like. Uh, lots of great new stuff for uh, Word Art in Office Word 2016. So I'll be making additional videos for Word as well. And you can go ahead and take a look at the playlist and see if you can find things that are useful for you.